Hi Libra, welcome. Hope you're doing super good. Uh, we're here to do a love November reading for you. Um, so this could be for singles, loosely involved or attached people. Uh, because the cards are going to speak about whatever they choose and um, hopefully there'll be something here for you no matter what your situation um, is at the moment. So I want to make sure no one gets excluded. <laughs> Not that I'm going to do this too many cards that fell and none turned. Uh, not that I'm going to do separate messages for like singles, um, loosely involved or attached, but um, <laughs> let's just do the reading. <laughs> we get beyond words. This You're the third sign that gets this. Aries got this, and um, I think Gemini. Anyways, it's surprising. I mean, it's not a super big deck, but there's more than 12 cards, right? <laughs> like, meaning there should have been like one card per sign, like all different, but no. So I've already interpreted interpreted this card like already two different ways uh, on these two separate readings. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to reserve my thoughts for now. Um, anyways, right off the bat, I mean, you can make your own assumptions about what's beyond words. Um, it's everything that is body language related. Uh, maybe you're in your in your mind, in your head about someone, right? Really deeply in thought about them. So let's just leave it at that and pull the tarot so to see how it actually ties in. This deck, one card, only upright. It's another sort of overarching energy for the reading. does Libra need to know? What is beyond words for them? <laughs> There's some that fell, but it's really the one that fell on the floor that I think I want to grab. <laughs> Six of Pentacles. So we're talking about... Um, an equal give and take here, a situation where being Libra, <laughs> uh, I think it's quite in your wheelhouse, right? Because uh, you adore and actually revel and seek harmony in your life. So with this combination of you know, no words and a balanced relationship. What you're looking for, Libra, uh, I'm sure you probably know what you're looking for, but this reading is emphasizing that you definitely are interested in having someone with who you can have um, almost like a deep understanding without having to like discourse for hours, right? Um, sort of a relationship where with only a few words, um, maybe just gestures, you know, affection, uh, affectionate gestures, uh, little written words uh, left in the morning, I love you, or whatever. So the love notes. Uh, and someone with whom uh, you feel that there's you do that to them and they do that to you because I think you actually really love to get those kinds of uh, little demonstrations of of love. So 
I don't know if you actually, uh, so for singles, you're looking for someone like that. If you're loosely involved, I hope you can already sense that the person um, kind of gives you the, the signals um, that make you feel like they're interested. You know, they're not really speaking, but the eyes are talking to you. You sense that there's like a um, give and take here, that it's two ways that like the attraction or the interest is shared. And if you're coupled where you hopefully are living this out fully <laughs> in terms of having um, someone really show you in many, many ways, um, just how much they care. So let's explore further with um, another set of, uh, another deck of tarot, uprights and reversed in this one. And we're gonna draw more than one card. <laughs> This is crazy. Let me put on my glasses though. This is crazy. The Six of Pentacles came out again, but in reverse, but with the yellow font. That is so interesting. That is the theme of the night for you of this reading, I should say. So what throws me off, literally, I'm uh, being super honest here, is uh, I was kind of disappointed the Six of Pentacles came out in reverse for you. Um, but yet the, the Eurofon is here, so uh, there's something very committed about the two of you, right? There's something that is um, very strong in terms of, you know, I was mentioning the shared interest with you know, the equal give and take between uh, the two of you, especially when this one, this Six of Pentacles came out. Yet, um, it comes out again in reverse here, and I'm wondering uh, why that is. Since since the Eurofund is there, and it's, it's kind of like overtowering over the... It's like this, I don't know if you want, I'm, I'm going to try to show you what I have in my mind. Um, it's like the Euro font is overtowering this Six of Pentacles in reverse. So, although I spoke of an equal give and take, um, it feels like one person is overpowering a little bit compared to the other. So... The way it comes through is really strange. It's like, instead of being someone who's like taking from you, I'm sensing that the one that is overpowering is actually like pushing on too much onto the other, like almost over giving, <laughs> you know what I mean? And so he's like a little, mo a, a little too involved or a little much, uh, <laughs> I can't even speak like it's too much like it's like a little bit suffocating kind of an of an energy and that's the imbalance um what a strange thing and you know because of the words beyond words here uh it feels like it's 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 not someone who like is asking you or like it it doesn't even feel like it's overt it feels like it's just like this sort of feeling between the two of you of um you know almost like it would be something that you would you would work out at the feeling level energy level so you'd be like wanting this equal give and take here probably experiencing like what I was describing about, you know, an interaction of, yes, the interest is, is shared. There's like love, there's like 
Um, but at the same time, what I think is happening is one of the two of you, and I can't tell if it's you or them, Libra, one of the two is kind of a little bit like either, you know, the kind of relationship where one loves the other a little more than the other, or sort of is ex you sense a sense of expectation maybe a little bit, you know, like maybe you're always, let's say you're in the position that it's, it's being, you're being overpowered or overtowered, or like whatever, you're sensing sort of this pressure, I guess, maybe a pressure of commitment as well, like all the non-said about, you know, well, maybe we should take this to the next level, like, <laughs> you know, uh, maybe sensing almost like there's expectations about this uh, or just expectations about you giving back, you know, like, and almost like the game of, well, I give you a little, like, so, okay, I, I feel like I always have to give, like, just to always meet the other person, like, and I'm not saying you should be in an unequal relationship, but I'm saying sometimes, like, the person who's giving uh, should, ideally, should be giving uh, without necessarily expecting, like, that kind of feeling, at least right away, right? The, the sort of the give and take will come organically at different moments and uh, it just balances out but um, maybe the other person or you depending I, I feel maybe it would be the other person because we're doing you you're sensing that as they give they're kind of like okay so, so what are you giving me <laughs> I don't know if I, I guess I'm explaining enough like I think you get the point <laughs> What an interesting, like, let's see what happens next from that point for you. How do you, how do you handle that? How do you maybe rebalance that? Ace of Pentacles, that's gorgeous. <laughs> okay, I love I love images on cards. Um, I always use them for messages. Look, you see how this Ace of Pentacles, um, it's being carried by two angels. And if you look closely, the angels are at the same height, they're the same size, uh, they're the same sex in this sense. Um, it doesn't have to be that we're describing a same-sex um, relationship here. It could, but I'm just showing you how equal this is. So, and the pentacle the, is right in the middle and is uh, being held by both. So there's truly, truly the sense of a perfect equilibrium in terms of the exchange between the two of you. It's really amazing. So overall, the balance is not lost. The harmony in the relationship is not lost. Um, I think maybe because it's the Eurofont, the pressure that you're sensing is the pressure of commitment more more than anything the pressure of like let's get this on like let's start um start maybe so wherever you know at the beginning it's funny i said singles loosely involved or or partnered right so wherever you're situated on on that timeline or that um in that equation think about like what would it mean what it would mean to commit like to take it further up so the next step like the whatever is next for you as as coming together or oh that's interesting that's really interesting so let's uh i want to pull more two more maybe <laughs> two more came 
my cat is sneezing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> wow. I'm going to put on my glasses again. <laughs> this is amazing. You get the Empress and you get the Hangman in reverse. So, <laughs> he wants to go out, but I want to finish the reading. The Empress is the energy of, um, for me in this case, it's, it's taking this to the next level uh, in terms of and I'm going to use the fact that she's seated, right, as sitting the relationship down, like making it um, sort of a... I apologize. <laughs> making it, um, I don't know, like, it's distracting me. I apologize for that. You know, when you say, let's have a sit down, you know, it, it kind of means it's serious. <laughs> that kind of energy where you, you, you know, you also like, you put it down. So it's like, um, almost like wanting it to be stable and to stay in one place. Like, not that it would be static and that, you know, um, but in the sense that it would it would make it more solid or just more almost like you know the when people say uh, you guys are an item or you know like finally like almost like a consecration energy or you know, we do have the high priest, the Hierophant here, so it's like to consecrate. Um, officialize. And in this case, it's the Empress, so I'm sensing it's elevation. Uh, the high priest is there, elevation as well. Um, these two angels holding the pentacles, they're levitating, right? They're, they're floating, so it's its elevated already, or elevating. So now I'm looking at the hangman in reverse. Like the easy thing to say here is, uh, you know, coming out of the waiting period, coming out of uh, maybe almost a form of indecision. But it, with the hangman, it's it's there wasn't much indecision. It was just more uh, wanting to maybe get some clear. Um, like a clear vision of things. Uh, and I'm, I'm going like this because I'm thinking about the halo around the, the head of the hangman typically, right? So there's something about wanting to envision your, your future, right? So the pressure you were feeling about this person wanting you to commit or the unsaid pressure, right, uh, or expectation. For the Empress here, whoever, like, it's your, it's somehow, like, I think this is your energy versus the High Priest here was, like, this person's energy. So I'm thinking, I'm saying it's your card, but it's not your card in tarot, but you know what I mean. It's you here. I think that you wanted uh, to take more time to, and maybe that's why you felt pressured and there was an imbalance because you weren't yet necessarily fully on the same page about that precisely. Not that you weren't engaging equally. I think that was that that's been there from <clears throat> from the beginning. 
just this empress needed more time to like what i'm thinking is this enlightenment um the fact that the hangman needed time to see see his future now it's in reverse so he's he's understanding where this is going and i think now with the empress he's willing to allow this to come to him and allow the commitment part and allow like sitting themselves down to actually take it in like you know what i mean like this sort of um i like to, to think that the empress actually was standing and now she's sitting i don't know why i get this image um Maybe because the hangman being reversed, he looks like he's standing, which is <laughs> the irony of the hangman. So it's like she was standing, she needed to look far and wide. She needed to get a clear vision of her future. She needed to gain more understanding, more perspective, of course, with the hangman. But it's the standing part that, that gave her the perspective, right? And now like she's she's allowing and she's finally clear and she actually says, okay, now I, I'm sitting. Now this can actually come in for me. I allow it, I want it. Uh, now I'm on the same page. Like this kind of energy, it's really beautiful. And the Ace of Pentacles is like the way I've positioned the cards. Um, it's like, two here, one like this, and then two like that. So the Ace of Pentacles um, is like really in the middle, right? Like sort of the, and, and the two angels are coming together. Um, it's beautiful. And it's also bridging like, it's bridging like the energy of the Eurofont who was like sort of imposing the, okay, I'm, I'm ready, let's commit, let's do this, whatever. And then this energy of, I need to, uh, you know, I need more time to actually envision this and like, what does it mean and where is it going and do I want this, whatever X, Y, Z questioning was going on. And then smack in the middle is the ace and then the two angels are coming together and it's like the, the perfect uh, like moment where it all starts and it's like you're at the next level <laughs> and then it's the perfect uh it's the ultimate uh give and take um <laughs> i love it i love it and then maybe the beyond words uh in the end is like just the the bliss part right at that point it's blissful because it's like both of you are ultimately like super happy. You know what I mean? <laughs> I love it, Libra. This is quite a month. Um, this is quite a month. Because I think that with the Ace of Pentacles there, um, you might be going through the, let's say, because I said, you, I think you're the Empress here. You, you might still be like, uh, be standing for a little bit but I think you sit down in November I think this is the moment where you're like okay I want it I know where I'm going I know I know I this is it <laughs> so I think it really starts in November for you um, so whether you're single loosely involved or attached I think there's like something there for each and every one of you in terms of uh, singles, it's like meeting someone that, you know, you're going to get a new a start with someone that is ready and then you're coming into being ready and then you meet at the right moment and then you start something for singles. For loosely involved, um, it's like more of the, this was unbalanced, I'm sensing pressure, do I really like this, do I really want to like, is this going to be my boyfriend, girlfriend, like are we really like stepping into are we calling each other like a thing an item whatever that kind of are we committing are we to you know and then for the ones that are already committed maybe you were you know just living together sort of like you know dating or 
more than dating, but maybe now you actually want to marry, maybe you want to, you know, maybe buy a house, like something that makes it, um, that combines the two of you differently, or there's a change in the dynamics, but for the better, right? In terms of more, because I mean, it's the Eurofund, so there's something um, that is binding you differently than in, in the past. So whatever form that takes for you. Anyways, enough, enough babbling. <laughs> I love this. Um, I hope you do too. And if it's the case, uh, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye.